The South Niagara Artists Organization will be hosting their second annual studio tour this coming weekend. We caught up with local artist Wendy Malawani for the details. In my studio I'll be doing some demonstrations, so I'll get to see the artwork, see, see the process, even get uh, refreshments. Each of the artists will be doing some different things. Some may be doing demonstrations, um, same, some may not, but they'll still get to see the the environment where people are, are working and ask questions of the artist and get a better better uh, feel for our creativity and what we're doing. How many artists will be showcased in this year's event? Uh, there's 26 different artists with 21 locations. Uh, it's a good experience because people get to see a studio, where we work, um, how we work. A lot of people are interested in that whole process. So what is your preferred medium and why? I'm primarily a painter. Uh, I just I think that when I first started at uh, college, I just attracted to I like color. I, mixing color is uh, something I'm good at. And it was interesting because even as I went through other courses, sculpture, I took a lot of different courses, and professors, other students would always say to me, you're a painter, aren't you? <laughs> They're just, just the way I approach color, the way I, I guess um, even in printmaking. I had a professor that said they, she really liked working with painters because they didn't get caught up in the process of printmaking. They, they were dealing more with the imagery. And so that's, although through teaching so many different things, I worked in sculpture, worked in printmaking, which I really do so like I a lot of printmaking, I always come back to painting and particularly oils. So what do you feel inspires you the most? Really the things around me. I like to look at things that may, people may overlook, may just pass by as a day-to-day -day mundane and show the, the aspects that are, are interesting. And, and so, you know, when you look at the various paintings that I, that I have, they're all things that I've experienced. So, the, lately, a lot of animals. I had um, to do some owls and I had a friend that has owls and called about and he, his owls were sitting on eggs at the time, so he, I couldn't take some reference photos. The next day, two little screech owls showed up in our backyard, and so they became the subject of, of one of my paintings. So it's just the, the, the things that I, that I see on a daily basis um, become the subject matter. So what are your hopes for this year's tour? Well, we're um, hoping to just build on what we started in the first year, have more visitors, um, and be able to, we've already actually attracted more artists through our website and through our other advertising, but just have more people get to experience it. And uh, one of the things that uh, somebody had indicated to me before when I said about the studio tour last year, they said, oh yeah, when I was a kid, we would make that an annual event. So that would be a great thing for people to start to know that this is an event that happens on an annual basis and come back, see each time you visit a studio, things are going to be different. You're going to be working on different paintings, going to be doing different, different things. And so it's, it's great to be able to come in and see the, the changes and, uh, and new artists that have joined in, new places. Sure, you know, what I had in the second annual studio tour will be taking place on August 10th and 11th. And for more information, visit southniagaraartists.ca. In Waynefleet, I'm Carolyn LeConte, reporting for The Source.